everybody. I'm Leah of CJ Drill. And I, well, I'm standing in front of a raised bed that I just built. And I got to tell you, it only took me about an hour to do. And you can too. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so once you have your wood cut, guess what? It goes very quickly. We're going to set up our 4x4s on the end, just like we have them separated here. Then we take a 2x4. This is the 32-inch cut 2x4. I'm going to line that up. And start it. We're starting at the bottom, and we're moving up. Then put the next one in place, and then your last piece in place. You want to make certain that it's nice and even. So this is the way it's supposed to look on the end here. Notice it's nice and flush between the 2x4s and the 4x4s. You want that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to strike a line across all three boards. And you want that line to rest 1 and 3 quarters inches away from the edge of the wood. Now that we've got our line struck, now we're going to have to start setting our fasteners. Or we're going to use stainless steel fasteners. I'm going to put in two fasteners per board, and I'm going to drill pilot holes first. Now I've used a little lubricant. Since the screws are so long, I don't want it to bind on me, and I certainly don't want to strip the head. Now I've done one side, now it's time to repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so what I've done is I've completed both short ends, okay? Now the two sides are in position. Now it's time to attach the longer sides. So we want to line these up, just like we lined up the shorter pieces. Okay, so I have the uh, shorter pieces on their ends, and now I'm going to start to install the long pieces, which are 48 inches long. And I'm going to line the three boards up, and then I'm going to do just like I did with the short pieces. I'm going to strike my line, drill my pilot holes, and then attach them with the stainless steel screws. Okay, so I'm lining them up now. Let me get my third piece here. There we go. So just keep in mind that we're looking at it from the bottom of the um, raised bed. This is going to rest on the ground. This is up top here, and we're going to cap that with that copper cap. So this is the corner. Once you have it perfectly flush, it's time to strike that line. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to I create another reference line. This time we're going to just come in three inches and a quarter. And then I'm just going to take the speed square here, strike my line. Now remember that the reference line is only there so we'll know where to put our fasteners. Two per board, just like the short pieces. Now one of the things you may want to do is you want to drill a pilot hole here at the bottom. We're going to start at the bottom, okay? Pilot hole. And we're going to attach a fastener right away because that's going to hold it in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move up to the top and we're going to drill our pilot hole at the very top of that last board there. And we're going to repeat the process with another fastener. I put a screw here and put a screw here. And what that does is it locks these three boards in place so that when I go to drill my pilot holes and set my screws, I don't have to worry about them being jiggled out of place. Now I'm going to set my screws. Okay, so these are done. Now what I do is I repeat the process on the other side, the other end of these boards, and then I flip it over and I do the other long side. Okay, so our raised bed is complete. Now here's the thing. You could just stick this out in the yard just as it is, but you know, I kind of want to dress mine up a little bit. So I've got these copper caps that I'm going to attach with a little adhesive. Now I'm just going to place it on top, push it down, and that's it. Let it set up and dry. 
So that's it. We're all done and I've placed it in the front of my home and I gotta tell you, it looks great. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.